Hello and welcome to Stanley Young's YouTube channel. Uh, we're here today, uh, uh, Managing Director Victoria Lager. Hello. Um, we're going to just talk about, um, we put some questions out really on social media, um, what people want to know from us, um, things as you know, right from the uh, fundamentals to uh, pretty much how the company runs. Um, so we picked six of the most popular questions and probably a lot of them cover the most frequently asked questions um, that we get as specialists. Uh, so we're just going to run through, run through them and uh, hopefully uh, you guys will learn something today. And we're always up for doing this again. So uh, let us know in the comments if there's any more. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll kick off right at the beginning. Uh, I think the short answer is wherever you like, really. Um, it's entirely personal. Uh, which is a great thing about stamp collecting. You can you can collect your initials, you can collect chips, you can go for SG catalog number, or uh, you might just like two, three, one stamp um, and, and focus on that. Um, the key thing is to, to do the research or some research first, just to see where you, you think you might want to start, how you might want to house it, do you want to write it up? Does it need to go into a, an album? And if it's an album, is it a, a sort of pre-printed album uh, with mounts, without mounts? Um, and you can sort of run through that that sort of list. Obviously, here at Sandy Gibbons, we'll always happily talk to you about starting a collection as well. Our specialists are around um, all, all through the week to, di to discuss with you um, how you might start and what the options are, even if you, you might not have any, any ideas at the moment. Um, but it, it really can be very, very personal um, and very broad. There's there's almost a stamp for for every topic, I'd say. Definitely, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Okay, this is, a, this is a good question. Again, it's one we get asked a lot. Um, and I could probably talk for a very long time about this. Um, but uh, in uh, the short answer is, yes, it's a good place to buy stamps if you know what you're doing. Um, I think um, in the Commonwealth department we deal with, well, and GB department, we deal with so many collectors um, and look at so many collections and even in auctions when stuff comes back in. Um, and the times you see collectors really quite upset or annoyed are where they bought uh, essentially fakes and forgeries, re-gums, re, -gums, re -perfs. Um, it, it is a mine, It is a minefield out there and naturally because of eBay's uh, lack of policing and um, you know it, it's not their job to, to police their own marketplace um, but it means that uh, it is rife with fake, fakes and forgeries you know um, postmarks done on inkjet printers you know fake overprints um, all the things that um, really quite talented forgers can produce nowadays um, so if you know what you're doing and you're a knowledgeable collector yes absolutely um, but at the same time there's a lot of risk, so um, just make sure you're protected, essentially. So uh, there's a few routes for evaluation. Um, the Our website, specifically our auction website, has a, a very detailed listing of, of what you can what you can do. Uh, generally, um, we recommend that you email through a couple of pictures of the collection so we can get a feel for what it's like. We are then able to assist you um, in, in, slightly, in a bit more detail. Um, you are, of course, welcome to, to come into 399 Strand. Um, you don't need an appointment between 10.30 and 12.30, Monday to Friday. You can, of course, email uh, valuations at stanleygibbons.com um, to book a specific appointment to, to suit your timings as well. Uh, the same email address, that's, that's where you can send the pictures of the collection as well. Um, and our, our telephone number's on the website and you're welcome to call. Uh, we'll then take a look at the stamps and, and give you the best advice. And, and that might be, you know, we might offer to buy uh, or consign to auction um, or, or may actually recommend a, a different route entirely for you. Yeah, and a lot of the uh, valuations nowadays are done with things as simple as camera phone photos, which I think... Yeah, nothing snazzy. Um, a, you know, a camera phone is enough to get an idea of the sort of collection that, yeah, that yeah, you so. have. I'd say get in touch before, before, beforehand, rather than because you might not need to bring the whole lot in. Um, but yeah, just uh, send, send us an email is the best best route to start, and then we can go from there. Really. Yeah. yeah. So this is a this is a great question again. One we get asked a lot. 
Um, and as someone who's uh, very deeply involved with uh, pricing in the catalogue every year um, for the Commonwealth Stamps, it's one that I'm very keen to answer. So um, the, key, the key aspect uh, that's factored into our catalogue prices is the quality. Um, and we do put our money where our mouth is. Um, we do sell uh, all of the stamps in the part one catalogue when they're in basically perfect condition um, for those prices. Um, so things like, uh, you know, things that a lot of collectors don't mind about, um, things like, you know, pull purse, gum creases, gum wrinkles, uh, you know, stamps with no gum. Quality uh, of the cancellation. Quality, yeah. Indis yeah, indistinct postmarks is a, is a great one. Um, you know, they're all factored into the price. So if you were to buy a mint stamp from us, it will be, you know, well centered and without faults. Um, and a lot of the time, um, you, you will find that when we're trying to buy these stamps for stock, um, it can be very, very difficult because they're very in demand. Um, and people, um, the customers that we deal with in GB and Commonwealth, um, they come to they come to us for that quality and for that guarantee. Um, so I know we were talking about uh, eBay a minute ago. Um, that if you end up buying a fake on eBay, um, and you don't realise. Um, until a long time later, you're, you're, you're pretty stuffed, essentially. Um, whereas our guarantee is absolutely cast iron. So if you buy a stamp on a stamp Gims card um, from GB or Commonwealth Department, you know it's exactly what it says. It's exactly as described. Um, and if it's not for whatever reason, like whenever you discover that, it well, very, very rarely it ever happens, um, but it will be refunded in full, no questions asked. So we had an example recently um, where a stamp which the company sold in 1971 had been discovered uh, to be a fake in 2003. Um, and when this stamp came back in for auction, um, it was refunded in full, adjusted for inflation, um, even though at the time it was regarded to be a perfectly genuine stamp and it was only modern scientific research that had proved otherwise. So um, it's the, the safety is the key thing factored in and the quality. Um, so that's uh, that's, the, that's the key thing. And when people buy something at 20% of catalogue with a crease in, that's pretty much exactly what it should be priced at. So yeah. <clears throat> definitely a question we get asked a lot. Okay, so similar to the very first question, um, in, you know, in terms of gathering information, they're, they're a great source of information uh, from beginner level to the, the very experienced and, spe and specialised. Um, they are, it's just a great place to, to share, to learn, um, you know, displays are put on, uh, they produce great journals and newsletters. Um, trips. Trip, trips abroad or you know obviously they're, they're international anyway so it's, it's a good it's a good social as a, a, more than anything um particular ones that spring to mind for me um obviously the gbps the great britain philatelic society um i also am on the council there as the membership secretary um so obviously i'm going to give that one a good plug um uh but you know the newsletter is great there the journal's great um it's all available online um as well as you, you do get it in the coast as well um regular meetings a, a good social program card um and it, it's just a great great place to ask questions there's always someone that can help or shed some light or share a scan um yeah i mean so research wise i mean i've, I've for many years now been involved with the revenue society um and i think it's matches my collecting interest perfectly and it, I've learned a vast amount um, from the journal um, which comes quarterly and then the other thing that's uh, good I know the GBPS do one as well is um, like a, a members auction um, so having access to that material um, properly described and exclusively for members is, is always really uh, really really good so anytime you want to get um, uh, you know, really into into the details of whatever subject you choose. There's usually a special society for you, um, and even from exhibiting uh, perspective, um, you can do a nice sort of dry run with with friends essentially um, for any exhibit that you're considering putting together. Um, and the revenue society, I, don't, I don't, not all societies do this, but the revenue society, um, if you perform well enough in their competition, they'll actually pay your frame fees for stamp or for international shows. 
Um, so they're very, very good at um, pushing uh, whatever interest it is and whatever interest they uh, reflect. They're very good at advancing, um, you know, collectors within that subject area. So I think we're, we're both big fans of uh, yeah. I mean, there's, there's also societies. sort of stamp clubs as well, which don't always provide the information to sort of targeted, but another great sort of social oh, element and um, yeah. maybe seeing uh, displays that you wouldn't normally see. Uh, you know, because it obviously is a, anyone can join. Um, yeah, no, we're big, big fans. Okay, so this is a, again a question we get asked a lot, not necessarily sticking together because <laughs> they shouldn't be stored back to back or overlapping. Um, but I've actually covered this in quite a lot of detail. Um, I did two articles which we'll link in the description um, called Storing Your Collection for the Next Generation. I mean, really hot countries, what's going to get them is uh, humidity and it causes uh, toning and foxing. Um, if they're sticking together, I mean, the gum's too damp, um, they can get a hit. They can, I have seen collections, you know, pretty much ruined by atmospheric conditions. Uh, the cheapest way of getting across this um, and, you know, getting a handle on it is with a wine cooler, um, leaving it on, you can quite easily control the humidity in your own home. Um, but it's such a such a detailed topic that it's probably too much for one video. Um, but if you follow the steps that I've outlined across the two articles, you actually end up with the same uh, conservation level as um, the Smithsonian National Postal Museum and um, the British Library. So you, you, you can, um, for actually surprisingly low amount of money, you can re recreate those optimal storage conditions in your own home. Um, but as I say, check out the articles. I think um, we've managed well to link it in the in the video as well so you can click straight through to it now if yeah. you wish yeah so um yeah go ahead that'll give you the, the full details um so yeah i mean that that covers it for today um, if there's any other questions you ever want to ask the specialists um pop it in the comments we'll, this probably won't be the last of these videos that we do um, we're also on twitter or instagram so always always send your questions in i uh, would always be happy to help and uh yeah if you want to see uh, more more videos like this from us um then just yeah like and subscribe and uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon.